will bear witness to that record. Three leaders of the Allied Expeditionary Force, General Eisenhower, Supreme Allied Commander, Air Chief Marshal Sir Arthur Tedder, his deputy, and General Sir Bernard Montgomery, commanding the British group of armies, have been making very important tours of inspection. As the day approaches when the liberating armies will go into action, the Big Three have thoroughly scrutinized the preparedness of all these forces, British and American. We've been told that in the initial stages, British and Americans will go into battle in about equal numbers. What the leaders have been seeing for themselves, of course, is that their training and equipment must be absolutely equal to the tremendous task ahead of them. Airborne invasion exercises have also been carried out on a large scale. And although this part of the plan for the liberation of Europe is naturally shrouded in as profound secrecy as the rest, we can see, even in this glimpse of the exercise, more paratroops at work at one time than we've ever seen before. Great events are in the making. It only remains for us on the home front to give our maximum support in every possible way and to wish our fighting men all the luck in the world when the time comes.